I share uh, uh, my colleague to my left. What is your name? My colleague to, to, to my left, Richard Logan's concerned about the uh, solar array, uh, which I would say on its own is a splendid design. I don't know who came up with that, but it's really elegant as hell, the way, the way it's cantilever. Yeah. So whoever did that has some talent. My concern is urbanistic, really, is that it, it's really a suburban expression. It's a long, low relative, even though it's 18 feet high. By the way, 18 feet high, that's a story and a half building. Uh, long, low, horizontal line in, in the middle of the historic district. Mind you, it's on, it's, it's on United Street, and it's in a parking lot that's long and low anyway. Uh, I, I would never, f I wouldn't want to see it there unless uh, it were screened with uh, uh, some kind of plant material that was at least 18 feet high in front of it. It doesn't have to be because you, it, uh, you, it's facing south. You've got exactly the right angle you want for right. most of the day. But uh, right now it looks to me like a quite big, I mean, it, it's higher than the ceiling and it's the length of the parking lot. Uh, on a highway someplace or in a suburban setting, it would fit in very nicely. But the scale, the, the tooth of the neighborhood is small, staccato kind of thing. Right. And, and you, you, you can't, if you're going to use it as part of parking, you can't kind of do this because you've got to put the cars under. So I understand that, why it's continuous. But I think it needs a buffer, a green buffer in front of it. And uh, I think that's, pretty, that's actually a pretty serious thing. All these other things... Uh, our architect kind of mm -hmm. splitting hairs in a design review, but I would uh, I would submit and to planning to uh, staff particularly that that uh, the the project be approved, but not be approved unless you can screen the solar array from United Street with landscape. It can't be structure, or you defeat your purpose. You just have right. a big structure. Yeah, we do have landscape in I, front I of the see, structures. I see what you have, but it, it looks like a very undernourished hammock in your, in your rendering. But I'm talking about some, some good-sized trees, and then it, it goes away, but it still does what it wants to do. Right. It's hard on the designer because people won't be able to see how elegant the design is, but they can see it from another angle. That's really all I had to say on it. And... Uh, I'd love to hear, uh, particularly after what uh, uh, Commissioner Logan and I have said about some of these things that, that we would like to see done a little bit differently. If any other commissioners have any comments, want to make further comments, please do so now. Well, Mr. Chairman, the only thing I want to say is in regards to those solar panels, I think it would be an, uh, actually a great idea to introduce the city to this kind of an energy. Uh, I, we need to go there anyway. And I think it is very important that if uh, the city takes the first step to show the people that we can uh, conserve energy by uh, absorbing it. And well, that's, that's, that's precisely what they're doing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my concern, and I'd like to hear from staff on this, is, uh, you know, we, we make a big deal out of a couple of, of solar panels on the roof of the house, on the back, and we debate for an hour about it. Well, it would be different if they put it on top of the building, because that? that that would be different if they put it actually on the building itself, because then you put solar panels on an historic structure. No, no, no. But we're this is in addition to. Yeah, but, but here we're talking about scale and mass in the neighborhood. It's 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 150 feet long, mm -hmm. and 18 feet high. So what I'm saying is that that I think it has to be screened with a, with a green buffer. I don't know, do you have a green buffer requirement uh, anyway? We actually have a, land, a full landscape plan. It's in the back of our submittal. Uh, uh, here? Yes. Okay. Um, well, okay, I think I don't want to beat that into the ground, but, but I think if that's not done, people are going to say, how did that get approved? Right. Mm -hmm. Staff, uh, did, you, did you take a look at, uh, were there any questions in your mind about the scale of the solar array? Um, I originally have them. And that's why I requested that elevation. Um, once I saw the elevation and I saw uh, the proposed um, vegetation that is going to be on the front, I, I agree with uh, Commissioner Logan that, that 
they're not going to be as visible. I had the same feeling to you regarding the sveltis of the design of the structure. I think mm -hmm. that it's just like a very, very, very elegant. Um, I thought on the possibility of going up and down, but then that defeats the purpose of just like the maximizing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will just like uh, bring you to page 28 of our guidelines, which are just like very specific regarding uh, solar panels. After I review the, that elevation that I requested and see the buffer areas that, that the solar arrays are going to have between the school, the, the building, and between the Gomez house, which is going to be the next corner, knowing that there is a buffer zone of uh, landscape and a garden uh, uh, that is going to be located on that particular corner of United and uh, Greenell Street. Um, I think, I mean, they're just like freestanding structures. Um, and, and I really, I think that they're going to be svelte and I think that they're not going to be just like uh, too intrusive. And that is my take. Any, any further comments from the commission? Mr. Chair, maybe, uh, maybe we can have maybe one more question. Yeah. Uh, this question is to you. So um, how much energy are you actually getting from those solar panels? Um, Just to light up the parking lot? Or yeah, we can, well, the, the excess energy gets dumped into the grid, uh -huh. so it changes all the time, but we, we, we basically have enough energy to in, run the lights in, th in the entire parking lot. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chair, um, I, I tend to agree with, with staff. Uh, it sounds like there's going to be a buffer or some kind of landscaping to break up the scale. Uh, and I think also the page 28 um, of our guidelines in uh, talking about solar collectors states that, uh, you know, they use the term a detriment to the historic fabric. I mean, this is sitting out in the middle of the parking lot. I can understand, you know, 18 feet, it is going to be a pretty significant structure. But overall, I don't think it's, it's a detriment at all to the existing buildings. It sounds like you're going to have some kind of landscaping to, to break it up, or it's, it's, you know, they're yeah. just not going to be standing there, you know, facing the street without, you know, something, you know, without going overboard and defeating the whole purpose of these solar collectors to collect solar energy. Um, I'm ready to make a motion if there's no other comments. Make a motion. Uh, motion to approve uh, as submitted. Second. Any further discussion? Uh, <coughs> Commissioner Logan. I just want to make sure that we're clear on the transoms above the doors, on the fire escapes. That yes. We intend to keep them. Uh, I, I the guess that was the only big question. Right. The fire escapes, uh, I, I tend to agree with the applicant and with staff on that. Uh, I do understand your point in, uh, as well as uh, as well as the chair's point that, you know, there, if there's no reason to put them back, but they were there originally. They're, they're part of the building. Um, I don't have an issue with it. So um, it's as, as submitted, uh, I make a motion to approve. I do have a question to cover that. Yes. Are, are we going to uh, address that at a later time? The, the, the color? color? The color. Yeah, no, this, this uh, application does not include color. There will okay. be a full color presentation at, at a later time. Okay, that's all. Right. Thank you. Good. Uh, so, st uh, Stacy, could you call the roll, please? Richard McChesney? Yes. Richard Logan? Yes. Patrick Wright? Yes. Teo Glory? Yes. Maggie Uterez? Yes. Michael Miller? Yes. Thank Motion you. Motion passes. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.